Can you imagine how wealthy and important you would be to live in a palace like this? It's amazing. Hey, it's Indy. Welcome to my channel again. Thanks for joining me. Today I wanted to check out something a little different. I've been doing a lot of temples, so I figured let's look at a really cool palace. And I found this awesome video. I haven't watched it yet, but it's about Padmanabhapuram, Padmanabhapuram Palace. <laughs> I'm trying. An architectural wonder of India. So let's watch. Ooh. The That's rugged so mountain beautiful. ranges of the majestic Western Ghats stand guard to one of the most elegant architectural wonders of India, the Padmanabhapuram Palace. Padmanabhapuram. Padmanabhapuram. The small village Padmanabhapuram, originally known as Kalkulam in Kanyakumari district was once a thriving capital of the powerful Venada kingdom, which later became popular as the erstwhile princely state of Travancore. Travancore. <laughs> Located wow, right that is so stunning. Look how green it is. With the Veli Hills on the east, the palace was strategically placed, keeping in mind the protection offered by the hills and the abundance of fertile farmland and water. Wow. That's amazing. Over 400 years old, it is considered to be the largest wooden palace wooden in all palace. of Asia. Wow. Spread over an area of 6.5 acres with over 15 edifices, every bit of this magnificent complex boasts of intricate woodwork that highlights the outstanding skills of the artisans of Yoho. As one enters the palace through the Mukhyavatal, the main Mukhya entrance, Vatal. the beauty of typical Kerala-style architecture wow. seeps through the very air. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. The core of the palace, called the Thai Kottaram, constructed Thai Kottaram. in the 16th century by King Iravi Varma, is undoubtedly the oldest structure here. The rest of the palace complex, as we know it today, was built as extensions to the Thai Kottaram by various rulers over the years. That's so awesome. Wow. Look at those pillars. Is that raw? Or are they the carved? Kumbha I can't really tell. A oh, they look carved. element in traditional Kerala architecture has been rendered beautifully here. Here's the mess. What is going on? Wow. That place looks so peaceful. Oh my gosh. Look at that woodwork. Mmm. Yes. Oh my. I want to live there. Another notable feature is the clock tower or Mani Meda. It is said that in olden days, the bell of the clock was heard by people within a radius of three kilometers. Wow. The Mantra Shala, the audience chamber where the kings held important meetings with ministers, still holds true its royal charm and beauty. Wow. Oh my gosh. Uparika Malika, a grand multi-storied structure that symbolizes wealth, royal power, and the realization of God, is perhaps the most revered structure in the complex. The ancient mural paintings wow. found here are believed to be invaluable and sacred. Wow. Another oh, highlight found here is the Sapramanja Kattil, a grand poster bed supposedly made from a combination of 64 timber samples Jeez. with medicinal properties. Wow, look at the carving. I wonder how long that took. Ambari Mukhappu, the ornate bay window that opens to the Tekke Teruvu, 
A main route for religious processions is an exquisitely carved window supported by rampant Vayali figures and crowned with a conical roof. Wow. The Navaradri Mandamam is where one can truly appreciate the sheer beauty of Dravidian architecture in stone. The performance hall is defined by ornately carved monolith pillars in the famous Vijayanagara fashion. Does this get you excited too or is it just me? Because I'm like... Tekke Kottaram, Valiya Uttupura, Ayudhapura, Vepin Muttu Kottaram, Plahamuttu Kottaram, Tekke Teruva Maliga, Homupura, Pandadi Kalam Maliga and the Indra Vilasam are the other important structures that complete the palace complex. Wow. Crafted an ingenious architectural tradition using timber, intricate carpentry work is the most remarkable aspect of the Padmanabhapuram Palace. The elegantly carved gables, the pillars and ceiling of the Pumukham and Thai Vede all bear testimony to the dexterity achieved by the local craftsmen. That's so amazing. A symphony created by brilliant artisans in wood and stone, the Padmanabhapuram Palace is an artwork in itself. And it is no wonder that this monument of outstanding engineering has withstood yeah. the test of time. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, uh, Kerala is definitely on my list of uh, regions in, in India to visit, that's for sure. Not that there is anyone in particular, or any few in particular that I don't want to visit, it's just that I, this is amazing. <laughs> I was geeking so hard. I was totally thinking of, back when I was in college, I took uh, art history courses. I was an art history minor and my focus was on uh, in, uh, Japan. I almost said India. <laughs> Although I feel like I know more about India now than I knew about Japan then, but anyway. This particular palace reminds me a lot of uh, the old Japanese palaces and things that I studied when I was in school and I'm, I can't recite any information about them, but the design and the carvings and the layout are all very similar and it's just so beautiful. The fact that it's made out of wood and stone is especially interesting because a lot of the time when you think of a palace, you probably think of marble, granite, stone mostly, maybe some metal in there somewhere, but not, not wood. And the fact that this palace has really stood the test of time and is still standing and he never mentioned the palace having ever burned down or anything. It may have. I know it's not all original, but yeah, it seems to have definitely withstood the test of time. And that's just amazing. And uh, thank goodness that the carvings are preserved the way they were when they were first made. And there's that beautiful poster bed that he was talking about. It just blows my mind how much time would have gone into making sure that this palace look the way it did with all the carvings you know how much would you have to revere someone to spend that much t or how much would you have to get paid also i guess that's a good question too how much would someone be willing to pay for a group of people to spend all that time doing all those carvings and all that design work there must have been a massive amount of wealth transferred or reverence displayed or or slavery involved in building this structure, and it's just so crazy, the the capabilities of humanity. It's in Car uh, Kerala, of course, I would love to visit sometime. And yeah, I never knew this palace existed before now, so I, I think that's so fun, finding out about new structures and, and things that you never knew about before. So anyway, maybe you learned something today. Comment below if you did. If you've seen this yourself, if you've done a tour, please comment, I wanna hear all about it. What was the vibe like? I feel like walking through this palace would be so peaceful and so it probably smells nice and stuff <laughs> but anyway 
Thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. You're the best. And if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button and join our happy little family here. Go follow me on all my social media. It's in the description and I will see you next time.